Hey guys, so in this video we're going to have a look at the volume of a cuboid. So a cuboid is just a, a rectangular prism. So rectangular prism. So when we're looking at a shape like this, we know that the we can work out the area of the face. So the area of this face is going to be this height here. And it's going to be multiplied by this width. So the height multiplied by the width is going to give us the area of this space here. So because when we're looking at this cuboid, we can see that it has, I guess, the same cross-sectional area. So if we were to t take like a cutout of this sphere, of this uh, cuboid, we cut it in half, we could see that the cross-section would be sa the same all the way through the shape. If you want to work out the volume, what we do is we take this area of the face and we say it's constant throughout the shape, so we multiply it by the... I guess, length of the shape. So if we're wanting to work out the volume, we just know the volume is equal to the area of the face of the shape multiplied by what we're calling the length. So it's the area of the face multiplied by this length. Um, so we also know that the area of this shape, whoops, so the area of this shape is equal to the height the height multiplied by the width. So what we can say is if the area is equal to the height times the width, the volume of the shape, we just substitute in our area, the volume is going to be the height multiplied by the width multiplied by the length. So let's say hypothetically in this example we have uh, a length of I guess 7 meters, we've got a height of say 3 meters and then we've got a width of say 4 meters all we do is we just define all of these so we say our height is equal to 3 meters our width is equal to 4 meters and our length is equal to 7 meters we merely just substitute them into our formula so we have 3 meters times 4 meters times 7 meters, so 3 times 4 times 7. Our volume of this shape is just going to be 84 meters cubed. So that is how we are going to work out our volume of a cuboid. It's just the area of the face. And because the area of the face is constant throughout the shape, we just multiply the area of the face by the length and that's going to tell us the volume of the shape. So that's how we calculate our volume, and I'll put out some complex examples for you guys to have a go at. 